The underwater lo-fi sound might be Drake, and most importantly, his producer 40's biggest contribution to music. While it's not something they invented, they for sure popularized it back in 2009. In 2009, music was loud, brash, and boastful, but Drake and 40 came with a different approach. Instead of making everything louder, they layered and completely cut out frequencies of certain sounds. They took the frequencies out of the kick, the snare, pianos. Every sound you were supposed to maximize at the time, they went minimalist. Think songs like Do Not Disturb, Marvin's Room, or 30 for 30. So what we're going to do today is I'm going to make a beat based on Drake's song, 30 for 30. It'll be available for purchase at pianoandhiphop.com. And then after, I'm going to show you how to recreate that sound, that Drake underwater sound, using only one free plugin. And that way you can recreate this sound on your own beats and recreate that sound that we all fell in love with. very simple I have a kick here I have a snare I have the piano that I recorded and then the synth bass line that I recorded and that's gonna be it as far as sounds that I played I also have that vocal that I recorded and what I did was uh, basically I doubled it and then I just put some weird effects along with the effect that I'm getting ready to talk about so basically to get the Drake sound to get that underwater sound the party next door sound you have to do something called degrading the sample. And what that means is getting this free program called Somatics Origin and throwing it on everything. I'm gonna throw it on the kick, I'm gonna throw it on the snare, I'm gonna throw it on the piano and the vocals. I'll probably leave the synth bass out of it uh, just cause I don't think it sounds good, but I'm gonna show you the difference. It's really gonna help thicken it up. There's not a lot going on here, just to re remind you. It's four sounds, there's not a whole lot going on. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna grab the Somatics Origin, throw it on the piano, I'm gonna take all this extra stuff out, and you just gotta play with the resample frequency. See how it sounds like it's underwater now? Everything above 4062 is cut out completely. We'll keep it there for now. And I think if you throw some reverb on it, it'll really help it out. Uh, let's play around. I'm not sure. Uh, there we go. Look, you can hear Drake already. She don't let me. You can hear him already. A little reverb on there. So that's already sounding pretty good. That's just that's two plugins, Reverb and that's Somatics Origin, and I cut out all frequencies above 4062. So let's get to this kick and snare. It's too clean. So let me just do this. So the kick is fine, but they'll cut out the frequencies on the snare too. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go right over to the Somatics Origin, Origin again, throw it on the snare. 
I'm gonna take all this extra stuff off. I'm gonna cut where I want to. Okay, we're getting a little drakey. Getting a little, little more October here. Mm -hmm. I might went too far. Oh, yeah. You really need it on the kick though. Take everything off. You can. He definitely does that. I think I'm gonna leave it off the kick for now. Maybe I'll do it later. And then the bass line. I'm gonna leave that alone. It's as simple as that to get that Drake sound. You just wanna throw that somatics origin. They they layer up they layer a lot in the music. There's a lot of different layers still in their music, but they're cutting out a lot of frequency. And what that does is leaves room for the vocal. It leaves room for Drake voice. That's why his voice cuts so clearly on those songs. And um, it's really something they created. If you'd like to buy the beat that I just made or some other beats that I've been making lately, you can go to pianoandhiphop.com and buy that there. Um, I've dedicated this year to just making tight beats. I just want to get better at production just to get better at production. It's like one of the few things that I still really like love doing. So um, I have a tight beat channel that I've just been playing around with and that link is also in the description. Um, let me know also if there's a sound out there that you want to like you like, man, I wonder how they got that sound and you want to see if I can maybe re recreate it for you and show you how to get it done uh, in your own DAWs. Uh, but other than that, I will see you guys on the next video. Appreciate you guys watching.